Let's have a look at the best way to deep copy objects in JavaScript. Now this here is going to support arrays and objects as well as nested arrays and objects. Also functions and symbols and date objects. It's actually a really good solution for doing your deep copies. So right here, I've got a user object with name and hobbies. As we can see, hobbies is a array. Now before jumping to the deep copy solution, let's highlight the problem with a traditional copy object technique. We're going to go down here, we're going to say const copied equal to, then use the spread syntax to say dot 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 user, if I was to console.log the user as well as the copied version, we're going to see of course we get a copied object right here on the second line, but of course if I was to say uh, copied.name is equal to coffee.man1, so change the name of the second object, and I'm also going to change the hobbies by simply adding a new value, okay? We're gonna push on tennis as a hobby, okay? I'll save this, run it again, and now we can see that both of the objects, the original and the new one, have a modified hobbies to also include tennis, but the name has changed to be Coffee Man one as opposed to decode. So with your arrays and objects and complex types, that's where it's simply copying by reference, a shallow copy in this case, so we need to use a deep copy to get a whole new array. And we can do this using structured clone. Now before jumping to structured clone, we're gonna be uh, having a look at another technique using JSON. I'm gonna say here, copied, then do json.parse. We're gonna be parsing the stringified version of the original object like this. I'll save this, run the script again, and now we can see only in the second one, we get tennis as the uh, new item, meaning that we don't touch the original um, hobbies array. So we have a deep copy there using json.parse, json stringify. This here works, but like I said, structured clone, it's gonna have you know better support for things like dates and functions and symbols if you have them. Um, it's gonna be a, just, just a better solution overall. It's gonna support circular references. So let's change this to instead be structured clone, okay? Then pass through here the user. I'll save this, run the script again. We get the exact same results. And that is all for this one. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.